Today we're going to put together a trauma kit that can be used for construction sites, hunting, uh, when you're out shooting in general, um, anytime you're out using a chainsaw. Uh, these are all pretty much dressings and things that are going to be used for big wounds, but also at the same time I got some stuff in here um, for, for smaller wounds, everyday kind of stuff, um, if you're out on a job site or, or whatnot. So we're going to start out here. Um, with this Maxpedition pouch. Uh, this is going to be the, the foundation of everything. This thing can hold a bunch of stuff. You can add a bunch of stuff onto it. Um, this is by no means a comprehensive list. Um, I've used some stuff out of here I need to replace. Uh, and um, I just kind of have been developing this and building this over the course of time and for stuff that I like to use. Um, so the first thing that we're going to be doing uh, trap on the outside here we have this scissor pouch that can hold these paramedic scissors great for cutting bandages or clothing if you need to get to a wound that's underneath some clothing and I'm gonna just slide this here through the molly strips it's kind of tight but it'll get in there buckle that on right there and you always got those scissors with you. Uh, I'll save the patch for last. Um, the next thing we got are we'll take these uh, Blackhawk speed clips here and we'll slide these in here and uh, this is a Maxpedition glove holder so you can pretty much put anything in here but I like putting some, uh, some latex gloves in there. Line these up. Called speed clips, but I guess unless you do this a whole bunch, they're not that speedy. At least for me. So you're gonna slide those up in between this first loop of Molly here and this one here, and we tuck them. Here, this top one, and make sure that that clip there goes down over top, and that's what locks everything in. There we go. Make sure you get it locked in on the bottom. So I usually keep this thing in my uh, either in my toolbox or in my truck, or uh, I put it in my range bag uh, whenever I go shooting, um, just because you never know what's going to happen, and uh, it's just a. I'd rather have all this stuff and not need it than not have it and need it. Um, here we have a, a cat tourniquet. Um, hope to God I never need that. Um, that's definitely a. Something I carry though for uh, in case of a, you know uh, a gunshot wound while hunting or uh, you know a chainsaw accident or um, some sort of saw accident on a construction site. Um, that's definitely gonna help save a life if if you gotta use it. Um, and here I got this little. I oh, will go here. I got these uh, large trauma dressings, also called uh, Israeli bandages. And this Maxpedition pouch is pretty awesome for this because these guys slip right into these elastic bands right here. Now I'll take that and tuck it behind. And you got a nice clean little package there. So this can easily hold two dressings or more. So it goes right there. Uh, it's got this little zippered pouch back here. I like tucking that in there. And then uh, just toss some, some burn gel, pain relieving gel. Uh, surprisingly, I use that more than anything. 
So you can see we're starting to get this pouch filled up. Um, all this stuff, I'm gonna have links in the description below too. Uh, you can find it all on Amazon. Um, and if you like this video, please make sure you uh, uh, give it a like and please subscribe. So here we got some, some large five by nine pads uh, for using as compresses or packing a wound. And those will slip right down in here. They fit down in there perfectly. Uh, I got this triangular bandage, safety pins in case you break an arm or anything like that. We got some Steri strips. They're great for, you know, if you got a pretty decent sized wound, you can pull it closed. And uh, so we're gonna tuck these down in here as well. that all tightened up. Um, got a little thing of liquid skin. I'm just going to tuck that into this pouch here as well. Then we have uh, eye wash. Definitely uh, I've had to use three of these so far. Um, usually it's from a wood chip or a, a little, little piece of metal but uh, definitely helps to flush it out. Also just going to toss those there in this mesh pouch and last but not least got this little Johnson & Johnson kit here it's got cleaning wipes little band-aids stuff like that this is the stuff that gets used most often um, some more gauze stuff like that so I'll just get this all packed in here and I throw that here in these uh, these other elastic bands So there we go, we got the inside of this, this pouch uh, filled up. The only thing that I'd, I'd, I think I'd like to add to this would be uh, some quick clot, some coagulating gauze or, or uh, the powder. Um, but other than that, I mean, it's uh, for what it's used for, it's, it's, it's always been pretty comprehensive for me. I'm, I'm not looking to do surgery or anything like that with this. This is just purely um, either fixing small stuff with, you know, band-aids and stuff like that, or, um, God forbid, a big wound. That's just to keep you alive until you can get to the professionals. Um, so, get this guy zipped up here. You can see what it's like. Here it is in all its glory. Um, I really hope you enjoyed this video and go out and make a kit that, uh, is tailored to your needs and hopefully this is an inspiration for you to get that done make sure you uh, subscribe to the channel check out the description below for uh, the products that I used in this video and please check out some of my other videos that you can see on the screen thanks a bunch